<laughs> okay. Hey, it's Annie, and welcome to my channel. I'm Annie. I share DIY faux faux pants. Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Annie, and I share DIY faux painting, decorating on a budget, makeup tips, and skincare for mature women. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Make sure you subscribe. Just click that button below, hit subscribe, and click on the bell too. So anytime I have a new video, you will be notified. So today we're going to talk about distressing furniture. So this piece here, uh, I painted with milk paint several years ago. I used Mrs. Mustard Seeds milk paint and I just used it. I didn't add a bonding agent to it and what a bonding agent is, it's just something you add to it so it will adhere better to furniture. I didn't want that. I wanted it to crackle naturally. This original patina or the, the stain on here is very slick. So I thought it's probably gonna chip really well, and it did. So that's the, the, the key for milk paint. If you want that, that instant chippy look, use it on, don't use any bonding uh, agent with it, and just paint it on your piece that's slick and you'll get an instant crackle look. So you can see the drawers here, see how it looks? All cool and chippy, even inside, really cool, right? Okay. So today I'm going to show you how to do a layered look on top of this because I've had it like this for a while so it's time for a change so we're going to paint it. I'm going to show you how to do the Elmer's glue crackle. This is super easy to do and you can use this. I used it on my kitchen hutch that was standing, freeform standing. You can use it on anything, okay? Just make sure that when you use it, whatever, like I have right now I have a tarp on my table. If you're doing it on a piece on the floor, just make sure you use protective, uh, something protective for your floor because it's glue and you're gonna make a mess on your floor if you don't because the stuff is gonna drip. It doesn't matter how thin or thick or whatever, it's gonna drip, okay? And just go with it too, okay? Don't get all uptight if it's starting to look kind of, don't. Okay, it's gonna look really cool. Look at old pieces of furniture. You're gonna see paint drips, you're gonna see layers of paint, you're gonna see the paint underneath it. That's what I personally like. I like that look. I know I'm weird or maybe you're weird like me too and you like that as well. And that's probably why you're watching this video. All right, so I started this already and what I did is I added some glue to this and we're letting it dry, okay? So first what you wanna do, my piece is already painted. I'm just gonna paint over this, okay? But if you have a piece that you're just starting out with, you're gonna want a base coat at first. So go ahead and put a base coat of paint on it. You don't have to sand or you just paint your piece, okay? Using chalk paint. I use chalk type paint from Heirloom Traditions Paint. That's what I'm using. Um, so go ahead and, and use that on your piece, okay? Just paint your piece. When it's completely dry, then you're gonna to wanna to brush on your glue. And that's what I did. I brushed on my glue. Now, when it's flat like this, you're not gonna get drips. But if you have a freestanding, you are gonna get drips, but it's okay. Just go with it. It looks really cool, okay? Trust me, it does. So, if you apply the glue, I applied it with a brush. I just poured it on a paper plate and I applied it to my piece. If you apply your glue thin, you're gonna have thinner cracks. If you apply it thicker, you're gonna have thicker, bigger cracks in your piece, okay? Um, I'm gonna take a little hair dryer with it because that's what I do sometimes. Just if you do use a hair dryer, just be careful, it's glue, all right? I just hold it away and I just kind of just lightly just hit the, the dryer on it a little bit. And I will do that again after I paint, I will hit the dryer on it again because I'm not patient. I don't like to wait. And sometimes the heat of the dryer helps it and gives it even more of a crackled look, okay? So while that is drying, um, one more thing I wanted to say is you are going to paint over before this is dry. You're not gonna let this completely dry, all right? When it, it starts to get kind of tacky, that's when you're gonna to wanna to start using, you know, painting your piece, okay? So I'm gonna let that dry and I will be right back to show you the next step. And I'm gonna focus the camera on the piece and not me in the next segment, okay? All right, okay, so now I'm gonna start painting my piece. It's still a little bit wet, um, like wet, wet, a little more than tacky, but I'm just going to do it anyways because you know what? That's just how I roll. I'm just mixing up my paint here. The color that I'm putting on is called Cobblestone from Heirloom Traditions. It's from their Air Heritage Collection. 
and it's the all-in-one paint so you don't have to use a sealer or anything with it all right so I'm just gonna paint right over and I'm not gonna I'm like not really digging my brush in here okay because it's still wet and I don't want to ruin that crackled effect so you kind of put your paint on sort of thick okay and don't be afraid this is where you're gonna be like oh my gosh I'm messing it up you you're not gonna mess it up if you want to create a really cool crackle look textured distressed layered look you're not gonna ruin it I promise you okay I'm really being it's kind of like for you ladies out there that wear nail polish it's kind of like you know when you put your second layer of polish on and you want to be really light because you don't want to mess up that layer underneath that's kind of it's kind of how you have to put this on okay really lightly right down here okay now you can really see it I want you to really be able to see it okay I'm even gonna see if I can hit my hair dryer on there and see what happens You see that? Isn't that cool? I love it. I got a little sloppy with my painting there. Be careful with that, especially if you have a freestanding piece. You don't want you don't want to be sloppy with it. I am a sloppy painter. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit more. And then I'm going to show you one more step that you can do to really make this stand out. Okay, so I'm not going to apply the wax to this whole piece because it's still wet. So normally I would wait to let this completely dry, but I want to move on with the video. Okay, so I'm going to take, here let me make sure I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take my Muddy Pond Wax, that's what it's called. This is from Heirloom Traditions as well. And I'm just going to use it in just one little section because I just want you to see how using a wax will, if, especially if it's smaller. Now here you can really see the cracks, okay? But if you add this wax, it'll one, it'll give it more of a like an aged patina because it'll look a little bit darker. It won't look so new looking, you know what I mean? And if you have smaller cracks, it'll highlight that a little bit as well, okay? So I'm just going to take it. This area is dry, so I'm going to take it. I'm just going to use a cotton t-shirt. And I'm just going to put it on there. It's like an old cut-up cotton t-shirt, okay? Old cotton rag, whatever. But do you see how you can really see a lot more of the, the smaller... I have to be careful because this is still wet. But you can see some of the small cracks in here. I don't want to be really... I don't want to push on this too much because it really needs to dry more. But you can kind of see that. Let me wipe this off a little bit more. Be careful. Okay, so I would do that on the whole piece. I mean, it looks like a little splotch right now. I know that doesn't look very nice, but you just get the idea. I mean, if you do add a, a, a dark wax, you can see how that looks a little bit more aged than the really white part of the paint. Don't you think so? I think so. Um, again, if you do, if you apply the glue thick, you're going to get thicker cracks. If you apply it thinner, it's, you're going to have little cracks like that. So I kind of did a little bit of both so you can see that. And then you can add a dark wax on your whole entire piece, but please wait until it's completely dry, okay? Or you can just leave it as is. You just decide whatever you want to do, whatever look you want. But, you know, you don't, don't do it like this. That, that was just an example so you can kind of see the comparison, what that looks like compared to that. So I will leave all the links below for the paint that I use, Elmer's glue. You can just pick that up at the store. Okay, they sell Elmer's, Elmer's glue everywhere. Um, if you have any questions about this technique, please let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish painting this. So I will see you next time. Bye.